Hey everybody, Gabe here. This is a video on mindset, and I'm recording this from a hotel room in Warrensburg, Missouri. So why the heck would I be recording a mindset video in Warrensburg, Missouri? Well, I'm here because my daughter's got a soccer camp. She wouldn't mind playing soccer for the University of Central Missouri. They're an amazing soccer program. And she's down here for an, uh, an elite residential ID camp. Residential means she and a buddy are in the dorms. And that means I'm hanging out in a hotel for a few days. So as I sit here thinking about content, thinking about things to write, I, it's time for me to record my content on mindset. And so as I think about mindset, and why would I record it from a hotel? Why not? That's the beautiful thing about being a solopreneur is you can do work from anywhere in the world and you can take care of content and do take care of your clients. You can take care of anything as long as you've got an internet connection and a phone. So here I am, I'm recording about mindset. The things you need to know about mindset is this. Mindset are the stories that you tell yourself. They're the things that you say. So I could have said, geez, I'm sitting here in a hotel. What am I gonna do? Am I gonna, am I gonna you know, not work, not be productive? I could go out and explore the area, which I'm gonna do later, but I thought I'm gonna get some productive stuff done. So the mindset or the story I told myself was, yes, I can be productive and I can make some work out of this and have some fun. All right, so that's what we mindset is, is mindset is the stories. And those stories come from growing up, they come from your culture, they come from your upbringing, they come from your community, they come from all kinds of places. And when we think about money, money has a tendency to have a mindset with it. Some families talk about money in a good way and some families talk about money in a bad way. It all depends upon how that comes out. Success has a tendency to have a mindset. There's a mindset that some people say, well, geez, I can't be a great business owner. I can't be successful. I can't be honest and I, can still, and I can't, can't be a great parent or dad or a mother at the same time. Some people, and I remember hearing this at a, at a conference not too long ago where, geez, I can't be a successful business owner and a great mom. Well, who says? Yes, you can. So you have to change the stories. Now, where did I get this information? Well, there's a book I read. It was called Mindset, The Psychology of Success by Carol Dweck. And Carol Dweck is a Stanford professor, at least she was when she wrote the book. It's a fantastic book on mindset and how there are two types of mindsets that are out there. There's a fixed mindset and there's a growth mindset. The fixed mindset, she says in the book, is fixed. It's like you just can't get any better. And if we use intelligence as a example is you're as smart as you're ever going to be and you're not going to get any smarter that's a fixed mindset where a growth mindset is is i'm not as smart as i'm ever going to be i can continue to get better and i can continue to get stronger and i can get smarter as time goes on that's a growth mindset so how do we change the stories well you first you start by asking what's going on so there was a podcast that i had out it was Elise McConnell was on my podcast and she is a mindset expert and she talks about, you know, doing something. And what you do is you notice that something's going on and there's a story. You stop, you notice, and you do something different. So the first thing you got to do is you got to change the story. All right. So how do you change the story? You change the story by changing the statements or you change the actions. So the first thing you do is you change the story from I can't be successful and honest and know my family to I can be successful, I can be honest, and I can know my kids. I can be a successful business owner and a great mom at the same time. Yeah, you can, all right? What's the second thing you do? The second thing you do is you then start changing the questions that you ask. Instead of why can't I, why I can't do this, you change the question to why can't I? Instead of, why can't I do this? Why can't I do this? And so that you basically are moving forward in that realm. Third, you need to read. Read as many things as you can. I start every day off by reading 20 minutes a day. It's actually a little more than 20 minutes. I have a little routine that I follow in my morning formula or my morning ritual. The first thing that I do is I do a little daily devotional. Second thing I do is uh, read two books, 10 minutes each. Usually it's, oh, motivational stuff, habit stuff, happiness stuff, and I'm pretty darn happy, but it's neat to learn more, and so it's a great way to start the day. Part of my morning routine is meditation. And I know, 
people are like, yeah, I don't really want to meditate. I remember Melissa telling me I needed to meditate. And I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. All right, well then, this great coaching program that I joined, start talking about meditation, how you can actually rewire your brain. I even heard that on a podcast. It was a Tim Ferriss podcast that I heard. He was talking about uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger talked about meditation and how he rewired his brain. So meditation. First, you change the stories in your mind. Second, you change the questions that you ask. Third, you need to read. Fourth, you need to meditate. Just try it. Five minutes. I remember the first time I meditated, I'm like, all right, yeah, whatever. I'm going to do five minutes. I did a five-minute meditation, and I can tell you this. I've been meditating every day since for well over two years. It's been fantastic. It does actually work. So what do you do with your mindset? You got to change it. All right, if you already got a great successful mindset, then fantastic, good for you. But my bet is even if you're successful, you know that you can still have room to grow and still have room to make that fixed mindset turn into a growth mindset. Actually, if you're already there, you're basically gonna go from a growth mindset to a better mindset. I appreciate you listening today. Have a great day. Hit that little button. There's like a little button there that's like a, a bell to subscribe. You can subscribe, but then you need to hit that little bell to make sure that you get notifications every time that I have a new uh, video come out. I appreciate you listening. Have a great day from Warrensburg, Missouri.